Hello, my name is Mark Watts. I'm the Executive Director of C40. And at C40, we work with cities all around the world to create a greener future. The climate crisis means more extreme weather. It makes the world a more difficult place for us to live, a more difficult place for animals to live, and it makes it harder for us to grow the food that we need to survive. Hotter temperatures and extreme weather are mainly caused by invisible gases. You've probably heard of them by their scientific name, greenhouse gases. These gases are released into the atmosphere when we burn oil, coal and gas. And did you know that most greenhouse gases come from cities? 70% in fact. It's time to act now and we need everyone to join in. To protect all of us, including future generations, we need to transform our cities to reduce pollution and adapt so that we can cope with a changing climate. But the good news is that by doing that, we can make life healthier and better for everyone. So how do we do this? There are many actions that you can take, many solutions, starting from the way that your neighborhood is planned and designed. If everyone can find everything that they need close to home, do they need to use cars? Sadly, many people around the world are forced to breathe in dirty air every day, and it causes all kinds of health problems, including asthma, which I have. If we can clean the air, we can help people be healthier, but also happier. And what about our buildings, our homes, our schools, and our offices? The way that we design them can reduce the amount that they pollute, including, for example, could you put solar panels on the roofs of your buildings? Green spaces and parks are really important in cities, and not only because they create nice places to play and relax. Did you also know that trees and plants in general capture pollution and green spaces, parks, can also help to cool down cities on the many more hot days than most of our cities are now experiencing? And what about what we eat? Did you know that often the single biggest change that any one person can make to reduce the pollution that they cause is to change their diet, eating a little bit less meat, having more of a plant-based diet. Also, how can you design your city so that we all need to use less water and create less waste? Young people like you can help us all change the way we live and contribute to creating greener cities. We need your creativity to reinvent our cities for future and current generations. So, are you ready to design the city of tomorrow with C40 and Minecraft?